I think when I set out on this voyage, I had and I had in my mind that femininity was this one thing that um, Western society has kind of shoved in women's faces that this is what's like beautiful and feminine, and um, and uh, I was not that. I was a tomboy uh, growing up. I just loved sports and um, I wasn't really comfortable in dresses and things like that and. I didn't really, I wasn't in touch with femininity in, in my own body. And um, I kind of went out with this masculine sense of, you know, wanting to conquer, the, find these waves. And, you know, it felt like a, I had a more masculine approach at the beginning of my voyage. And over time, um, I learned that when I was alone, I, you know, I really was able to find my own sense of intuition and and slow down and and um, all of these things that ended up really helping me in sailing and succeeding at what I was doing um, were very feminine aspects of myself and so I think I opened up to um, of my feminine side and realized that femininity is unique to every single woman and that that's what so beautiful about each woman is that we can express femininity as we feel that it's right and um, once I kind of understood that um, I just I was much more easy for me to sink into my feminine side and and embrace it and uh, it's now it's a really I'm very very much I would say more um, in touch with my feminine side and much more feminine than masculine, I would, I would say. So it's been a really, really wonderful part of my journey, discovering how fantastic it is to be a woman.